Okay, so I've gotten a few requests to do a video on the camera settings I use for the Canon 60D. Now this is just gonna be basic settings, not really going into how to get a specific effect or look, but just the basic settings that are gonna let you get the most out of the camera for both photos and videos. First, I'm gonna talk about the video settings. So if you are looking for photography settings, go ahead and click the time listed below. That'll get you to the photography part of this video. So when setting up your Canon 60D for video, the first thing I do is hit the menu button. So while you're in the menus, you're going to go to movie exposure and switch this to manual. This is going to allow you to control manual exposure and just kind of get the right settings you want in the first place. With the Canon 60D and mainly any camera, you want to be able to be in manual settings because you want to be able to get the most out of the camera. Now while still in the menu section, go and put on a grid. I definitely suggest this because if you're not using a grid, your shots aren't going to be framed as well as they could be. This is a super easy way to be able to see whenever you're shooting where your subject is lined up and I swear it's going to help you a ton. Once you have the menu settings figured out, you can hit the Q button on your camera and you're going to change the quality of the camera to 1080p. So you're going to go in and select either 1920 by 1080 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. This kind of depends on what you're shooting. Now you can check out my video I made on Canon 60D video tips. I explain why 30 frames per second is a good idea because you can slow down your footage, but say you're vlogging, go ahead and go with 24 frames per second. Either way though, you're going to want to be shooting 1920 by 1080 so you're getting the most out of the camera. So while you're in this menu, you can also adjust your white balance. Now when I'm shooting my videos, I usually am changing locations a lot so I don't change the white balance a whole lot. My general rule of thumb is take a look at your camera and see if it looks pretty accurate to the lighting around you. If you are having problems with lighting though, definitely use this part of the menu to adjust for say tungsten light or daylight or say it's cloudy outside. It is a really helpful thing when shooting videos, but in general I don't have too much problem with auto white balance, so I try not to mess with it too much. So after that, you're gonna adjust your shutter speed. Now this really depends on the frame rate you chose. So say you chose 30 frames per second, you're gonna wanna set your shutter speed to 60. Now this is because you always wanna have your shutter be double your frame rate, and this is just gonna make sure your scenes look natural and you get good looking motion, and you don't get weird motion blur. So say you did choose 24 frames per second though, just set your shutter speed to 50 because this is the closest thing and it's gonna give you a natural look. Now really the last settings you're gonna play around with is the f-stop and the ISO. So this really depends on the lens you're using. So for example, I have a 50 millimeter 1.8. So a lot of times I'll shoot at say 1.8 or 2.8 and this will give me a really shallow depth of field and it'll just give me a nice bokeh. But this is important because a lower aperture allows you to get more light into your camera and so that way you don't have to crank up the ISO. But speaking of ISO, you want to keep it between the range of 100 to 800. Now I keep it at this range because this is where I can get away with boosting the ISO but not introducing grain. So once I hit 1000 with the Canon 60D, I usually start to see some grain in my shot and I really don't like that personally. So I'd suggest you stay below 1000 when shooting with the Canon 60D. And that's basically it when it comes to the settings I use for the Canon 60D when it comes to video. Now there are a few things like when it's really bright outside I have an ND filter so I can maintain these settings because otherwise without an ND filter you're just going to get overexposed shots and you're going to have to crank those settings anyway. So I definitely suggest getting an ND filter if you don't have one. And if you are looking to improve your videos more with the Canon 60D definitely check out the video I made on that. So now we're on to the photography tips. Now photography is a lot harder than video when it comes to settings because there's a lot of different photos you could be taking. You could be doing things like portraits, landscapes, or really just a variety of different photos. So these are just general settings I like to keep in mind and have my camera set up. Obviously you have to change them a lot depending on what you're taking a photo of, but these will help the 60D be optimized for taking photos. So the first thing you're going to do is go into the menu and you're going to select the quality and change it to raw. Now you could shoot RAW with JPEG and have both files, but I found that to be really annoying, so I just suggest going with RAW so you get that really high res photo. So a big change to make with the 60D is change from automatic mode to manual mode. This is going to give you full control over all the different settings when taking your photos. So the first thing I like to do when actually getting ready to take a photo is determine what aperture I'm going to be shooting at. So if you're doing a portrait, you usually want something lower, and if you're doing a landscape, you usually want something higher. It really depends on what you're shooting, so really just use your best judgment and figure out what aperture you want to shoot at. 
So after aperture, I like to set my shutter speed. Now, the shutter speed really depends on what focal length you're shooting with. So say you're shooting a 50 millimeter lens like I am, you're gonna wanna set that shutter speed over your focal length. So what this means is setting your shutter at at least 60, and I usually shoot at 80 for my shutter. And this way you're not gonna get any weird motion blur, and say you're shooting handheld, you're not gonna get shake from your shot. So you definitely wanna keep your shutter speed above your focal length, so just keep in mind whatever focal length you're shooting at, and make sure your shutter is above that. So if you are shooting something like sports though, you're gonna to wanna to set your shutter speed higher because you're gonna have that motion and you don't wanna get weird motion blur and have it be a blurry photo. So I'd suggest usually something like 125 for the shutter, but it really depends on the situation. And the last setting I mess with is the ISO. Really any ISO is fine for me under 1600. After that point, it really just doesn't look too good. I usually like to stick with the lower ISO, but it's really not as important with photos as it is with videos. All right, and those are my basic settings for photography. Now, it is a lot harder to take just the photography settings I have compared to the video settings, because with video, you really can dial in those settings, and as long as you maintain them, your videos are gonna look good. But the thing is, with photography, the situation changes a lot, and you may be trying to get a more artistic photo, so really just mess around with the settings when it comes to photography. But I think the settings for both will at least give you a good idea of how to expose correctly for your photos as well as your videos. If you are looking for tips on how to improve your photography with the Canon 60D, go ahead and check out the video I made on that. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.